Indiana Ray from Scott's Kitchen and I'm going to be showing you how to make Anzac biscuits. So I already have the ingredients all set out and I'm going to tell you what they are. So rolled oats, flour, so guys what you need is one cup of self raising flour and then sift it into the sifter in the bowl. One little spoon and one big spoon, some melted butter, some coconut, some brown sugar, and some regular sugar. And all you need for this one is just a spoon, a half measuring cup, and some brown sugar. My mum my mom rolled it up for me because I don't know how to. But I do know how to do something. I'm going to tell you what pack means. Pack means adding the sugar and then patting it down and just flatten it. So I'm going to start doing what I need to do. And I'm going to eat a little bit. It might be hot, but mine is warm. And the water. So let's start putting it in. There's the water. There's the butter. Get out, get out, butter. Just out. Now you're gonna have to use a little spoon or a big spoon. you're going to do is there's some stuff on your spoon. You're just going to like, you're just going to put it down and just get your finger and smush it out. Might be a little sticky for your finger. That's what you're going to do. And if there's still a little on there, you can lick it on your finger. Okay, we are finished with this. To melt and you need an added power view. So, so now let's get mixing. Make sure if you're a little person, you have to get the adult to do this. You have to make sure until the butter is all melted and then When I was organizing everything, my mum forgot to tell me to put the brown sugar and the white sugar in. <laughs> so now we're gonna put them in. There we go. And I'm 
Precious. <laughs> oh my darling. Now, nah, it's starting to melt. So now what we're gonna do is mix it. So now you need a parent to help me put the wet mixture in. So what I'm actually going to do is put the bowl really close so it doesn't spill. See ya, everything's alright. So I had a little help from my mum and what you need for this one is a baking tray the mixture and this is the funniest part hands that's the way so what we're going to do now we're going to roll them into a ball and put them on the tray my mum is going to help me first i'm going to try a little if it's good mm -hmm. oh good mum And then we're gonna put another one in. So you need some help from your mum or your dad or whoever you're with. <laughs> so while they're baking in the oven for 15 minutes, in the meantime, we're gonna we're gonna clean up the pencils. So one of my favourite tips about gardening things are getting rid, getting rid of snails and slugs. So every morning me and my mum eat scrambled eggs and me and my mum crack, we save the, the eggshells and we crack them just like this. And we put it out in our backyard so the snails and the slugs don't, don't eat our plants and another thing is about that is about when the birds come down to our garden they actually dig into the dirt and try to they eat the snails and the slugs so that's good but this disgusting and horrible yeah. i would not like to eat one here we're back with the cookies and after we're I'm going to try one. We're going to put the rest in the container we have. Let's try one. Mmm. <laughs> the container now. So thanks, my name is Izzy Ray from Scratch Kitchen for watching me make this Anzac biscuit. And if you guys are thinking about if my mum told me to do it or I did, or did she? Ooh. So, so stay tuned for me. <laughs> my Scott's Kitchen. And if you want, if you want to see more, if you want to see more about my scratch kitchen, type it down below in my comment through the action. So what you need for this one? <laughs> so that, that, for, okay, breathe in. Okay, so. so what you need for? So what you need to do is pro pro heat the oven on. What was it called again? So what we're gonna do is put it. I'll be back next school holidays and I hope you like this video.